let's hear the story of one of the most popular outfits in today's time. In 1946, Jacques Haim, a French designer from Cannes, designed a revealing two-piece swimsuit dubbed the Atom, which is French for Adam. His swimsuit, however, did not expose much of the midriff region at all. In fact, it was just long enough to cover the navel. To promote his new product, Jacques Haim hired a skywriter to fly overhead with the following message, Atom, the world's smallest bathing suit. Three short weeks later, a French man named Louis Rayard submitted a minimalist version of the swimsuit, the bikini, to the market. Louis Rayard was born in 1897 in Paris, France. He wasn't always a clothing designer. Plot twist, he was previously an automobile engineer. However, his inclination toward clothing design was probably because his mother had owned a lingerie business. So you must be wondering how an automobile engineer could possibly get the idea to form something as scandalous as the bikini. How did he think of it? In 18th century Europe and the New World, porcelain paleness was the epitome of stylishness. Women in these times wore long dresses and carried parasols. Modesty and the social norms of conservative governments and churches dictated that people be fully clothed in public. Attitudes began to change during the Roaring Twenties. Prior beauty ideals of pallor became less appealing as research began to show that appropriate amounts of sunbathing and exercising were highly beneficial for the human body. People began to spend more time outside, thus becoming more tan. It was in 1946 when Louis Riard realized that for a good tan, women had to expose more of their bodies. He then created a two-piece swimsuit that exposed the midriff region and named it the Bikini. But how did Louis Riard come up with the name Bikini? During the 1940s, the United States released several nuclear bombs on the Bikini Islands. These events caused such a sensation to the public eye that Riyadh was inspired to name his new article of clothing, the Bikini, in the hopes that people would have a similar reaction of awe. Although his wishes were met, the tiny clothing piece ended up overshadowing the tragic consequences, like cancer and birth defects, that the Bikini Islanders suffered for years to come after the bombs. Due to this, Riyad faced criticism for stealing the spotlight of an important aspect in history. So how did Riyad ensure that the bikini was as explosive as the bombs in the bikini at all? Taking a leaf out of Jacques Haim's book, Riyad promoted his bikini to fly overhead with the message, smaller than the smallest bathing suit in the world. Riyad's bikini was so small that it could be pulled through a wedding ring, as well as be placed in a matchbox. His tiny 30 square inches of fabric redefined the limits of conventional modesty. At first, he couldn't even find a single model who would agree to wear the skimpy outfit. The only person who finally agreed to model for him was a French nude dancer from Casino de Paris named Micheline Bernardini. He unveiled the bikini at a popular swimming pool, Piscine Molitor, in Paris. Fun fact, Pi in Life of Pi was named by his uncle after the Piscine Molitor. It remains a historical monument in Paris. What was everyone's reaction to the bikini? When the bikini was first launched, it wasn't received too well. The bikini was so controversial that it was actually banned in several countries, such as Australia, Spain, Italy, and Belgium, as well as some U.S. states. The American fashion industry was appalled by the invention. According to Modern Girl magazine, it was inconceivable that any girl with tact and decency would ever wear such a thing. The bikini took off as a global phenomenon, thanks to the young French actress Brigitte Bardot. The success of her 1956 film, And God Created Women, made American actresses like Marilyn Monroe toss their swimming trunks for a pair of white panties and a bandeau top. The bikini had taken hold of America by the 1960s. Brian Highlands pay on to it. Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini made the top 10. Anna Funicello donned a bikini in the movie Beach Party in 1963 that was such a hit that six sequels followed, including How to Stuff a Wild Bikini. For women in those times, the bikini signaled a kind of liberation which let them enjoy the pleasures of the sea and the sun. The ones who approved of the bikini didn't think there was anything sexual about it. They just considered it a celebration of freedom. Many others across the globe, however, considered the bikini as an objectification of women, compared to the traditional ideals of modesty. 
A recent experiment done at Princeton showed that bikinis make men see women as objects. In the experiment, male subjects were shown pictures of women both fully clothed and scantily clad. Most of the subjects remember the pictures of the scantily clad women the best. Furthermore, some of the subjects showed no activity in the part of the brain that normally lights up when a person considers another's thoughts and intentions. What did Rhea do later in his life? Despite making such a huge impact on the world, no one quite remembers Louis Rayard for his contributions. In his later life, Rayard simply went on to sell bikinis in a small shop in Paris for 40 years. Louis Rayard died in a hospital on September 16, 1984, in Lausanne, Switzerland. His wife, Michelle, and he had moved to Lausanne from France in 1980. He was 87 years of age when he died due to a fall in which he ended up breaking his leg. What were the social impacts of Riard's invention? Despite the criticism Riard faced for his bikini, women felt empowered as they flaunted the bikini on beaches. It made many feel confident enough about their bodies and themselves as people to show who they really were to the world, rather than conforming to societal standards. Since then, the bikini has become part of the modern feminist movement. Riyadh's invention not only impacted the fashion industry, but also aided in the widespread social development and equality that women would experience for decades to come. Although Riyadh appears to be a loser to modern society, he paved the way for the clothing and the freedom that the majority of people take for granted. So next time you're at the beach, make sure you use hashtag thanksriyard when you take a picture in a bikini to post on Instagram.